Oh my goodness, it's happening. Octopath Traveler's finally out. I actually got my copy this morning. Holy smokes. I'd like the opening to be a surprise, but that Nintendo logo kind of just gives it away now, doesn't it? Okay, this game's available in six different languages. Maybe we'll play in French this time, shall we? No, we really won't. I'll stick. Even though I'm a French speaker, video gaming is always in English. Oh, this is an Unreal. I didn't know. Oh, so yeah, we're starting a new series. This is the first time I actually have a series with a capture card. I actually received my capture card this morning, the day this game was released. I was actually freaking out a little bit because I really wanted this series to start on release day. So I got the game, I got the card, I was able to set it up. It all seems to be running pretty well. There doesn't seem to be too much lag. I was doing a little bit of testing with Blood Moon. Anyway, without any further ado, Octopath Traveler, let's begin. So we'll obviously do a new game. Let's just check the settings real quick. You know, we'll change the language to voices to English or Japanese. We'll stick to English because I don't speak Japanese. Uh, I'll stick to the default volume. We'll be good for everything. I'll I'll keep the rumble on for now. And remember battle cursor or revert to original sometimes it's kind of useful to have it uh, remember but for now i'll just leave it this way corner shadows brightness i'm gonna leave that and all right i think everything's pretty good i did play the demo for this but the original demo not the new three hour demo so i actually don't know any of these travelers so if you do just stick it out with me and figure out we'll see who these people are so we've got uh hunnit who path to action is provoke talent capture your name is hunnit and you are a hunter one of the last descendants of an ancient clan that calls the deep forest home your prowess with the bow is unmatched your master left home one year ago summoned to hunt a dread beast and you protected the village while awaiting his return then one day the return of an old friend gives you cause for concern and you strike out on a journey of your own that looks kind of cool. I never play rangers, but still kind of cool. We've got Ophelia. Path of action guide. I don't know what I don't know what path of action means. Talent summon. Your name is Ophelia, and you are a cleric. You hail from the snow-swept frost lands, where you are where you dutifully serve the Order of the Flame under your adoptive father, the Archbishop. As your adopted sister and best friend prepares to embark on a perilous pilgrimage, you stand ever at her side. But unbeknownst to the both of you, events are about to take a tragic turn. Oh no, you don't say. We've got Cyrus. Path of action, scrutinize. Talent. Oh, path of action might be that special ability they get to use on the map. A talent, study foe. Your name is Cyrus, and you are a scholar. You teach at the Royal Academy in Atlasdom, and though you have numerous admirers, your only true passion is the pursuit of knowledge. There is so much more I would learn. One day you re realize that an invaluable tome has vanished from the Royal Library, picking your insatiable curiosity. Hello. We've got... Uh, Therion. Path of Action Steel, Talent Pickpocket. Your name is Therion, you are a thief. While your past is a guarded secret, your exploits are known far and wide. Mere whispers of your extravagant heist strike fear into the hearts of the wealthy. Drifting into the cliff lands one day, you hear a rumor of, of great riches to be had. You set your sights on a mansion set to be impregnable, only to find what you never expected. Ooh, I'm kind of intrigued. Uh, Alfin, path of action, inquire, talent concoct. Your name is Alfin and you are an apothecary. You treat the wounded and sick in a small village amid the babbling brook of the riverlands. Stricken ill as a child, you were saved by a traveler who asked for nothing in return, inspiring you to follow in his footsteps. Though hesitant to leave the only home you've known, your best friend convinces you to follow your dream wherever it may lead you. Alright. We've got... Oh, we've got Primrose here. Primrose was actually part of the original demo, but I did not play her initial chapter, her intro chapter, because I actually didn't want to spoil too much of the game for me. I just wanted kind of like a preview to see what kind of game it was. So her path of action is Allure, and her talent is Summon. Your name is Primrose, and you are a dancer. You ply your trade in the tr uh, pleasure district of Sunshade, a town forever shrouded in darkness. 
In truth, you are the high-born daughter of the once proud house Azelhart, an identity uh, you conceal from all. Three men bearing the mark of the crow, they took my father from me, but you will have your revenge. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. And uh, who's left? Oh, there's quite a few. My god, there's eight of them. And then we have... Uh, Tressa, purchase, and I for money. Your name is Tressa and you are a merchant. You stock the shelves at your parent shop in your sleepy seaside hometown. Yet you often find yourself gazing out at sea, longing for something more. What lies beyond the horizon? You, you thought you'd never know the answer. Then one day an unfil unfamiliar vessel weighs anchor at the docks, changing your life forever. Then we have Ulberic. Path of Action Challenge. Talent, a bolster defense. Your name is Ulberic, and you are a warrior. Once a proud knight, you lost both king and kingdom in a bloody coup. Today, you serve as a master at arms for a remote mountain village. To what end do I swing my blade? The question tortured you night after a restless night. Then one day, you overhear a name from your past, giving you new purpose. Um, Ulber Ulberic is actually the one that I did the uh, intro chapter with. So I think that's all eight of them. I don't think I missed anyone now, did I? I really don't know who to pick. I mean, the Rangers is, is, is kind of interesting. So the way this works from what I understand is this character, all the stories I think are supposed to converge eventually. Um, but the character you pick at the beginning is the only character you keep throughout. So basically, if I pick Ulberic, uh, he's going to be your main character throughout the game. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to pick Ulberic, actually. Uh, because I did like the beginning chapter, and I'd like to see where it leads to, because I played the demo, and it kind of ended, not quite on a cliffhanger, but kind of at a spot where I'm like, I kind of want to know more. So we will be playing as Ulberic uh, this time around. And I am going to end the episode here. This is going to be an episode zero. And the next episode, we're actually going to start the game uh, and just kind of jump into it. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let me know what you think. Well, <laughs> let me know what you think of the game so far if you're playing it along. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.